Hey guys, hope you're all doing great and staying magical. Uh, it's good to hang out with all of you guys again. Today I have a haul that is mostly Harry Potter stuff, but I do have a few little extra things that are fandom, other fandom related, so I've included that in this haul too. So we're going to start with a few things I found on the website Wish. Uh, these are fantasy and magical related. Uh, this is a ring I found. And this is a moonstone ring. And in Harry Potter, Snape was always talking about moonstones, so I just automatically assume that it has a lot of magical properties. And so I thought it would be cool to have a ring that's very wizard-like and would go great with cosplaying and LARPing and whatnot, so... And then the second ring here is... This is a garnet ring, which not only is my birthstone, but this also looks very magical. Uh... As a friend pointed out, it actually might do well in a vampire type LARP, so I just kind of like those. Uh, this next item was a gift, and I believe this also came from the website Wish. But this is, I'm pretty sure this is a Viking related pendant, and those are Viking ruins. But my, as my friend pointed out, uh, the ruins, if you look closely, they also kind of look magical, like magical ruins, and the whole pendant might look like a spell. So that's kind of cool, and uh, I like the uh, chain. So, And then this one definitely came from Wish. I found this one. This is a dragon eye pendant, and I just think that looks so awesome. That definitely is magical. And they had different colors you can get in the dragon eye. They had uh, green and purple and red, which looked really scary, but I really like the blue. That kind of looks mystical, so. Yeah, they're, those are the, that's those. I thought they were worth sharing. Okay, next we will go into uh, stuff I found at Hot Topic. And this is a Pokemon keychain I found. I bought it to ce celebrate the release of Detective Pikachu. And this was a blind sort of situation, so you bought these and you didn't really know which one you would get sent. I was hoping for uh, Balbazar or uh, Charmander, but I got Mew, which is okay. I like Mew. And uh, so yeah, I thought that was neat. I have to rebuild my Pokemon stuff because I had a lot of it when I was a kid, but I foolishly thought I had outgrown it. So I gave a lot of it away, which I regret. So now I'm trying to just build it up a little bit. So this is a great start to that. And then Hot Topic also had these, which I thought was really cool. This is a Pokemon Pocket Watch. And I love the box. Ugh. And get it open. Uh, doesn't want to come off for me. Ah, there we go. Okay, so Pokeball Pocket Watch, and you open it. And I don't know if you can see that, but it says "Gotta Catch Them All." So yeah, I just. I thought that was really neat. <laughs> and 
Last thing before we get to the Harry Potter stuff is I found this Monsters Inc. badge with the slogan, we scare because we care. And I always liked Monsters Inc. so I thought this was worth buying. Now, onto the Harry Potter stuff. Okay, so, keeping up with pin badges, this is one I found. This one says Future Wizard, which I abs absolutely like because as far as I'm concerned, I am a future wizard, so this fits me. And you can see the golden snitch, which is really cool, so. And then this is a golden snitch patch that I found. And I really like this because I just think it's so beautifully detailed. And I bought this because I thought it would go good on one of my varsity jackets. Which, uh, if you've watched my clothing collection, they have a very huge Gryffindor vibe to them. But I think that they should be more like a varsity jacket in the sense that they should show or represent what you actually do. Which is being part of the Quidditch team. So now I can put this one on and, you know, everyone will know that not only am I on the Gryffindor Quidditch team, but I'm their seeker. So... Okay, and next I found this water bottle, which I really liked. First of all, I think it's the perfect size, and I really like how it's designed. It's got a handle that you can carry, and then it's also got a flippy straw that you can drink from, a flippy spout. And then it says Hogwarts Apothecary. Which makes it even cooler. Because you can pretend it's like a potion of some kind. Maybe like how Moody did. You can pretend it's like your Polyjuice potion. So no one will find out who you are. And then on the back it's got the Hogwarts crest with two wands crossed. Which is a really neat design. So, Next I... If you recall, in one of my hauls videos, I bought these plaid uh, pajamas. And uh, I said last time that I needed a shirt to go with them. Well, I found that shirt. I think this will go perfect with these. It's very plain and understated. So, it's just a white t-shirt that says, uh, Gryffindor on them, on it. And you can see the lion. So, the only thing I don't like is, uh, I don't know if you notice this or not on camera, but, uh, the Gryffindor part is just kind of faded. It's not as bright as I thought it would be, but that's okay, I'm only wearing it to go, I'm only using it to go with the pajamas, so I guess that doesn't really matter much, but I don't know, it's a bit disappointing, so. Next, Hot Topic had these mystery blind bots creatures, so there were eight of these. Four of them go with Fantastic Beast. Four of them go with Harry Potter. And uh, you could either get a Niffler, a Bow Truckle, the Dimmy guys, or the Akami. And here's what each one looks like. So I bought a couple. And for Fantastic Beast. I got the bow, bow treckle, which was really cool. He stands in his little stand, and he's got a background to go with him. So that's neat. I'm happy with that one. And then they also sent me one for Harry Potter, which worked out perfectly, because I got one for Fantastic Beasts and one for Harry Potter. So, and for these, you could have gotten Dobby, Hedwig... The Pixie and the Dragon. And 
here's what they look like. I actually ended up getting the Dobby one. You can see what he looks like right there. And that actually is his background that you can stand him in. <coughs> Excuse me. You can stand him in. However, I'm not a big Dobby fan. Don't get me wrong. I like Dobby. I thought he was great, but just not a big fan of him. So I was actually hoping to get the dragon. That one. So I'm going to go... I'm, I can't open it because I sealed it, and I'm actually going to pass this one on to a friend. Uh, it was his birthday, and I think he might enjoy it a lot better than I would, or I do, so I'm going to give that to him for a gift. So. Okay, and then the next thing that I found, which I love, is uh, they had these towel sets okay so these are Gryffindor bath towels and these are beautifully made like the detail is amazing there's the lion and you can see Gryffindor at the bottom I just love these so much and uh, they were so worth the money and uh, they ran out of all the houses, except I think they still do have Slytherin on there. And here is the second one it came with. So this one is yellow with the Gryffindor crest. And uh, this is a face towel. The red one's a body towel. So. Uh, that's that. Next thing we have is... This is a Harry Potter uh, pencil cup in the shape of a cauldron. And uh, I love this concept because, first of all, I think it's really cool how it's uh, a cauldron. And that's just the box. This is what the actual cauldron looks like. So yeah, that's really cool. Uh, it's quite big and quite deep. And so, anyway, like I was saying, I love how it's a cauldron. That looks really cool. It looks like, um, you know, from Potions class. And then not only that, but I love how you can put your pencils in. I have so many pencils and pens, and, you know, I'm always uh, scrounging around trying to find them. Now I can just put them in one place. But I'll tell you the real reason I bought this. The real reason I bought this is because I have, the, I have uh, a few wand pens, and I've been... I, it was driving me crazy because I never knew how I was going to display those. I was like, you know, they should be all together and they should be displayed, but, you know, I just never could figure out how to go about doing that. Well, I found this and I just thought this would be perfect. I mean, forget all the other pens and pencils. Like, I just can put, like, all my wand pens in here and they'll look great. So, really happy I found that. And then our next item is our last item from Hot Topic. And this is a Harry Potter Hogwarts snow globe, which is just beautiful. I fell in love with this the moment I saw it. So this is just the bots. I've taken it out for you so you can see it. All right, so this is the snow globe, and the detail is incredible. So there's the cliff and the trees around Hogwarts. And there's glitter when you shake it. You can see the glitter fall down, but I'm not going to do that because I'm not going to, I'm not going to break it. And do you see how incredible the detail is? This is just beautiful. And then, look down here. This is the coolest part. That's Hagrid's hut with Buckbeak. 
Now that is, like I said, the detail is amazing. Like, I couldn't believe that was down there. And then on top is the Hogwarts crest. So yeah, really happy with this purchase. <laughs> One of the best things I bought. It's just perfect. And then there's one more thing that needs to be included in this haul. Ugh. Okay, so these are my Harry Potter vans that they just came out with. Uh, really am happy with these. And uh, I love the Harry Potter bots it comes in. Let me show you this. And now, guys, well, before I show you the shoes, you have to know that this tissue paper is also Harry Potter. Like, if you look closely, you can see, like, it looks like tiny daily profits. Which I think is, I didn't even notice that at first, but that's incredible right there. I've never seen that before. But let me show you the shoes. Okay. So these are the Golden Snitch Shoes. Uh, I really thought these were neat. Uh, there's the little snitch. And then you can see the two wings on the side, so it looks like... The black and gold is incredible. Yeah, these are just perfect. And then on the back of the shoe, they're both kind of the same. And then on the back of the shoes, if you look closely, you put them together. And on the back, it says, I open at the close. Which is so, so cool. I love these. These were worth uh, every penny. I'm really excited that they got here. And, uh, honestly, out of all of them in the collection. I thought these were the only ones worth buying. Although, uh, I couldn't help but admire the Gryffindor ones. I wasn't really sure about them. I'm still thinking. I might buy them if I like them, but I don't know. But I know I love these, and these couldn't wait, so... So, yeah. Uh, that's my Harry Potter haul, guys. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope you had as much fun as I did, and I'll see you next time.